serving as um, a hindrance to news and journalism or is it aiding uh, news and journalism in the way that we report on what's happening in the country? No, I, I, I think it, it's, it's a great amplifier. It, it depends how you use it. So you've got a motor car, mm. you can drive the car to, to drive as a, you know, as, as a normal commuter. You can drive it as a racing car, which is a different speed, and you can drive it completely unlicensed and crash the thing, right? The same principle applies to social media. It's 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 giving us a platform. Now, do we use it which when it never existed 10 years ago, or do we say it never happened? But the key is to use it and to understand why you're using it for yourself and your personal brand or, or whatever mission that you stand for. So, I mean, for me, it's, no, it, it's, it's important and you need to understand when is it personal and when is it when you're speaking on behalf of a company or, or a brand and when you do that effectively that's great for example today as we discussed earlier with with Ahmed Kathwana passing on um, I mean I, I heard the, the rumors the confirmations came on social media from news news angles and then without even listening to to uh, Dishan Dalton about the CEO of the, of the Katrina Foundation, you can see his, his quotes are coming through on, on social media already. Mm. So if that hasn't worked, that means you are like at least one hour ahead of everything else. So the plan is not to fight with it, but to embrace the gift we have now, which we never had before. DJ's <laughs>